when I was at Black Hill State, um, the president of the college always had artwork in his outer office, and they invited me to put up a few pieces of mine. So I, I set, put some in there, and, and Tom Todd, who was the director of elementary and secondary education, came to visit the campus, and he was in Do Dr. Haas's office, the president. And he said, you know, I'm going to go meet President Carter in like a month, and I want to take him a gift from South Dakota so he remembers Indian education. He said, you think John would do something for us? And, and so Dr. Haas said, well, let's go ask him. So they came to my office and said, this is what we want to do, and said, will you do something for us? Well, you're not going to say no to that request. So I did. And um, he took it with him, and President Carter wouldn't accept it. He said, if I'm going to accept this, I, I think I should meet the artist. So they came back, and we, we arranged things and did things, and it was kind of a lucky that I got to go see him. But Senator Abrask at the time made all the arrangements. So I got to fly to D.C. and get in a limo and drive up to the White, to the to the White House, the gates open, they saw our ID, we just drove in, walked right through, and um, I got to go in and meet him. And in the drawing, I left it undone, and I hid a picture of the peanut in there in his honor, because he's a peanut farmer. And so, and at the time, there was a caravan of, of, of people walking to D.C. They were gonna try to meet with the president. Um, the long, not the longest walk, but I forgot what it was called. And, and as I flew there, I got to thinking, they want to see the president, and they're probably not going to get that opportunity. I'm going to walk in the office and meet the president. And I thought, I've got to say something to myself. And so, and people ask me, what does the Oval Office look like? I have no clue. Because when you see the president of the United States, you don't gawk around. You, your focus is right there. So we walked up, and he was a very cordial man, very, very um, welcoming. And, and I you know, showed him the drawing, and he, he accepted it. And, and then Senator Abra said, tell him why you didn't finish it, John. So I told the president why I didn't finish it. He said, because of unbroken um, promises, I mean, promises that aren't kept and by treaty rights. And you know, whatever it is, it's just never kept. And then the president took a step back and he said, well, maybe you can come back and finish it someday. I said, well, just call me. Of course, he never called, but, but at least I got his attention and I made a statement to him. And, and I felt good about that. 